Hello everybody, it's Mrs. Pound, and I'm back with another video from Chapter 14 on Solutions from BJU Chemistry's 5th edition. So we're going to start talking about the measures of concentration in Section 14.2, and I am splitting this into two separate videos. Our objectives for this video are to define concentration, compare the different ways to report the concentration of solutions, and solve concentration problems. So first of all, we need to know what concentration is. It is a measure of the amount of a solute in a certain volume or mass of either the solvent alone or the entire solution. Now there are different ways to report concentration and to measure it. And the first way I wanna talk about is mass fraction. This compares the mass of the solute with the mass of the solution and reports the concentration as a decimal value or as a percent. Commonly, salinity is reported as mass fraction. So the formula is W solute stands for mass fraction. M of the solute is the mass of the solute, and M solution is the mass of the solution, and then we multiply it by 100, or it would be a percent. Now, <clears throat> this is a limitation of the program here. Solute should not be crossed out. This is just a division sign here, showing that we divide the mass of the solute by the mass of the solution and multiply by 100%. So a problem that involves a mass fraction might be something like this. Ocean water has 3.5 grams of dissolved salts in every 100 grams of solution. Calculate the mass fraction. So first we start with our formula. The mass fraction of the solute equals the mass of the solute divided by the mass of the solution times 100%. We then plug in the numbers. We have three and a half grams of solute, the salt, 100 grams of solvent, the water. Multiply that by 100 and we get three and a half percent. The next way we can report uh, concentration is volume fraction. And this relates the volume of the solute to the volume of the solution reported as a decimal value or as a percent again. So for this one, this is the Greek letter phi, um, the volume fraction, and it stands for volume fraction of the solute, equals the volume of the solute divided by the volume of the solution. Again, a uh, limitation of the program, this should be just a division sign, it's not crossing out solute, times 100%. This is commonly used for household products and medications, especially liquid, liquid solutions. And down here we see 5% acidity. 5.0% acetic acid by volume means that acetic acid contributes 5 milliliters for every 100 milliliters of solution. And we see that right here on this label. We're not going to do a calculation for this one. Molality is the number of moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. Now, we're also going to introduce here in a little bit molarity, so you'll have to keep those two straight, molality versus molarity. For molality, we use a B for molality in moles per kilogram, and so the molality of the solute equals the moles of the solute divided by the mass of the solvent. So again, this is just a line for division. It's not crossing out that label. So a problem might read, what is the molality of a solution composed of 31.2 grams of sodium nitrate dissolved in 415 grams of water? Now, if we look at the question, we see that we have the mass of sodium nitrate, and it's 31.2 grams. Again, guys, uh, a limitation of the program. I can't do a subscript of a subscript, so my 
uh, these are not subscripted and they should be the numbers. I know the mass of my water is 415 grams, but according to the way we calculate molality, I have to convert that to kilograms. So it's 0.415 kilograms divided by a thousand. Now I need to figure out the molality, which I'm after, but in order to find molality, I also need to know the number of moles, and my cursor is getting in the way. I need to know the number of moles, but I can find that from my mass of sodium nitrate uh, using molar mass. So I do that. I start out with my 31.2 grams of sodium nitrate. I calculated my molar mass, okay, using my conversions. And so 84.99467 grams of sodium nitrate is one mole of sodium nitrate. And I get 0.367 moles of sodium nitrate. So now I can figure out the molality. So now I have that number. So I'll put that in. So I start out with my equation. Molality of the solute is the number of moles of the solute over the mass of the solute. So I plug my numbers in. I have 0.367 moles of sodium nitrate and 0.415 kilograms um, of water. So I do the division and I get 0.884 moles per kilogram of sodium nitrate. Commonly, we abbreviate that to a lowercase m. You have to be careful. It must be a lowercase m because molality is a lowercase m. Don't confuse it with mass when we're talking about solutions. And we can't put it as a capital M because molarity will be a capital M when I teach you how to do that in the next video. So our objectives for today were to define concentration, compare the different ways to report the concentration of solutions, and solve concentration problems. In the next video, I will talk about molarity, which is the most common uh, way to report concentration that chemists use.